Hello, Ben in Wheatland. How are you, sir? Doing well. You know, uh, hearing this talk about a possible tyrannical government kind of makes me chuckle because I want you right. to imagine that the government was taking every single piece of mail going through the post office, photocopying it, and then filing it away just in case they want to go back and look at your activities. Right. Because that's exactly what they're doing with all of our electronic communications. Every piece of email you've ever sent, all of your text messages, you know, the Library of Congress keeping all of the Twitters, big whoop, that's public stuff that you're posting on Twitter. The government is collecting all of that information, and nobody seems to really care that much. Nope, you can't. Were, I know, and I know, which is weird, too, because if, the, if a man from the government, you go out to your mailbox and there's somebody from the government standing there reading your mail, people would go nuts. Right. But they're reading your emails all the time, and nobody cares. Hey, Ben, I've got a question for you, and I ask this seriously. Why don't you settle down, get in the pen with the rest of the sheep, get sheared occasionally, and have a happier life? Because i got to believe your blood pressure sky high. You spend <laughs> a lot of t- your time grinding your teeth, you and your pop and, and your brother, who you work with a lot, too, right, on some of these things? Yeah. Uh, why don't you all just get in line? Well, I, I think it's twofold, right? I understand people who do do that. I, I said do do. Mm. I, I completely get that. If I had a, a wife and kids and stuff, I probably wouldn't go out and do activism and, and risk myself as much as I do, right? I'd focus in on that. You ever take a day off, though? Just like one day off? Oh, yeah. I okay. really, I'd really like to hear his, his answer, please. <laughs> Go ahead, Ben. No, but uh, why? Why don't you just become a happy sheep? I feel a sense of I don't know. Maybe it's from being a Boy Scout. Whenever you would go out, you would try to make sure you leave where you went better than when you got there. And I kind of as long as there were no about, gays. I kind of <laughs> I kind of feel like that about the world. Like I I want to make sure I leave it better than I found it. Okay, good for you. You're an a hole. <laughs> Ben, do you use email? Do you text? Oh, oh yeah, no, I and but see, I I acknowledge that all of it's being collected. I live a very public life on the internet, on YouTube. You know, I I use my name rather than some weird thing. And if I want to communicate uh, in a less than public manner, I use encrypted email. Homing pigeons. Hey, uh, I'm trying to find those texts I sent you the other day. Jack and I, oh, there it is. So uh, Jack and I are texting back and forth about uh, important confidential career stuff. And I said, uh, is the NSA reading these texts? F you, Osama, jihad, anal implant bombs. Do you think they have a file on me, Ben? Well, they're compiling them all, certainly. Here's here's what they do. They collect all of the information and store it. They don't necessarily look at it, like, as it's coming in. Uh Uh-huh. Then let's say they might end up looking at it if uh, one of you says something that someone in the government doesn't like. Like Osama Jihad anal implant bombs, for instance. And of course, Ben, as you know, the crazy thing is that there are enough people listening right now. And this is in our audience, let alone, the, you know, the, the rest of the world <laughs> who are saying, well, I'm not doing anything wrong, so I don't care. I don't and there have are anything no- to fear. Right, and there's, so there's enough people that say that, that, it, that, it, that it's okay. They can't possibly know that. There are too many laws. And guess what? Well, you don't know what the next law is going to be either. And the government, and the government a lot of times, do, doesn't even care what the laws are because they'll make something up and, or twist something, a DAs or police or whoever it is, to just go ahead and fit whatever it is you're doing. Ben, right. ben, ben talk about the chicken, pepperoni, and bacon pizza you made on Facebook. What was up with that? Uh, my sister is on a low-carb diet. And she wanted uh, pizza. So we make a, a thing called a pizza where instead of using dough, mm-hmm. you use ground meat. I good use, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. I use, I use ground beef, ground turkey, and ground pork, made a meat patty. Nice. Sit, uh, in a glass dish. And then uh, we, <laughs> toppings, we pulled it out, <laughs> toppings onto it. Uh, you know, you know we, one uh, question, of course. Bacon, yeah. bacon. How's, how's your stool? <laughs> The NSA could probably tell you that. Ben, uh, <laughs> back when Judy and I first did the Atkins thing years ago, um, we made a pizza, and it made one of our kids throw up. Oh. And, and so it hasn't been allowed in the house since. All right, hey, we got to run. Drain it. God bless you. I don't care why you keep doing it. Keep doing it. That used to be a regular question we would ask people. How's your stool? How's your stool? <laughs> 
kind of like a strong out. It's sort of. A, it was, <laughs> oh God! It was sort of like a greeting instead of what's up. How's your stool? Well, we were advised by a doctor that that was really important. <laughs> You're listening to the Armstrong and Getty.